to my channel. Today we are doing a lower leg workout. Yes, we're going to work the calves, the hamstrings, the quads, the glutes, even our feet as well. So you're going to get a great lower body workout. And if you guys want to follow the exact workout program that I do, as well as everything that I eat and a bunch of motivation, then make sure you check out my program, Burn 30 Day Get Fit. All the details below. You can even get it as an app on your phone and it's going to electronically track your progress. Pretty cool. Okay, guys, so let's get started. We have got 10 minutes today. You're going to feel the burn, so make sure that afterwards you hashtag I can feel the burn Rebecca on Instagram. So let's get it going. We're going to do 30 seconds of exercise, okay? And then we are going to have a 15 second rest. So the first exercise we're going to do, we're going to get nice and low, and we're just going to go across. That's it. That's it. Walking all the way through to your mat. Sit nice and low, and make sure here that your chest is up and you're not hunched forward. You can grab weights if you want them. Uh, it's going to really help with that workout, okay, and help with a little bit more resistance. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure that your knees are going out to the side, okay, that you're not bringing your knees in. So keep that chest up, give me a smile, and let's take it one more all the way to the back, okay. We're going to meet in the middle, and we're just going to hold it here for our rest, okay. So just hold and squeeze those glutes. So anytime that you are working out, squeeze the glutes, okay. There's a massive muscle in your body that's going to really help engage everything and keep you nice and strong okay you're gonna sit a little bit lower for three two one okay this time we're gonna squat and then we're gonna take it out on the diagonal so come to the front of your mat squat down and then out to the side nice and simple keep that chest up push those knees out to the side and if you want to hold on to those weights if you need to drop them no problem you can do that too so always keeping that chest up and keep that head in line you can see here i'm not arched up Everything is nice and controlled and in line. So let's take it down, get a little bit lower. And we're gonna hold it for that rest. And you're just gonna squeeze here. That's it. Push those knees out to the side. Keep that chest up for me. Take a breath in. Oh, and as you breathe out, give me a really big smile. Oh yes, you've got this. For five, four, three, two, one. Next exercise, we're gonna deadlift all the way down and squeeze at the top. So bend nice and low and Squeeze. We're going to put our weights down to the ground this time. So almost just relax here for a second and then come all the way up to the top. Push those glutes out and then squeeze. Oh yes, you've got to really tight those glutes as you get to the top. As you come down, push those knees out to the side and squeeze all the way up to the top. So come down, push those knees out and then tuck those hips up as you get to the top. Three, two, one. Okay, this time we're just going to hold it here. This is our 15 second rest. Oh yes, we're doing isometric holds. Every time we have that 15 second break, you can either just completely relax, okay? Or you can do what I'm doing, which I suggest that you do too. Okay, next exercise, bring those feet together. We're gonna take it down and then squeeze all the way up to the top. So a slight bend in those knees and bring those weights to around where your shin is and then squeeze those glutes as you get to the top. So take it down and then squeeze. Oh yes, looking so good guys. We got this, oh my goodness. Yes, I'm getting that. See air right into my face, into my mouth. Okay, we're gonna hold it here in three, two, and one. So hold it here, isometric hold. Sit nice and low. It's kind of like if you're doing a chair pose in yoga and you really wanna push that butt back and keep that chest lifted nice and high. Okay, you've got it. For five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna come over to one side of your mat. You're gonna go side lunge and then bring it back together. So work in that inside of the thigh and then squeeze up to the top. So take it down. Bring that chest up as you come up. And of course, you've got to squeeze those glutes. Work in that inside thigh, halfway there on this first round. Take it all the way down and squeeze. That's it guys, anytime you're doing any workout, always just give your glutes a squeeze. Maybe if you're going grocery shopping, give your glutes a squeeze and see if you can alternate those glutes. So we're going to hold here. This is our isometric hold. That's it. Make sure that the weight is in this heel. Okay, we're not up here. We're all the way down to the side. So you can almost lift this leg up and really squeeze. Three, two, one. Let's take it to the other side. This is what I love about these workout guys is you're not having loads of rest in between. We are just getting the workout done. We are not waiting around. I know you guys haven't got much time. So we are going to work from the minute that I say go all the way through to the end. You're going to be moving your body. That's it, really put that weight into the heel. Bring it back up again. Breathe. <laughs> Sometimes you begin to breathe, it's totally normal, but you're gonna get there. Three, two, 
one. Okay, let's take it out. We're just gonna hold here. Isometric hold, nice and simple. Really try and put that weight into that heel so you can lift that leg up. That's it, sit down, lift that chest up, have that arm nice and long. Woo, three, two, one. You're gonna put those weights to the top of your mat. You're gonna take a nice lunge forward, twist, bring it back and up here. So extend that leg up, bring it through and twist. Woo, extend that leg up to the top, have a nice stretch. Bring it through and twist up to the top. That's it. So kind of like a downward dog, you're gonna step it through, lift up through that chest, and then push back. And it'll extend all the way up to the top, and then hold it here. Okay, for that rest, we're just gonna hold up a high plank, and we're gonna squeeze those glutes together. We're halfway there, guys. So really squeeze those glutes together in this plank. Keep your chest lifted. Make sure that everything's in line, your head, your butt, and your heels. Two, one. Okay, come down. We're gonna come into a bridge. So really working those inner thighs. So you're gonna hold up here and just gonna bring those knees together. That's it, so squeeze. If you want to, you can lift those weights up to the sky and we're working those inside thighs. Oh yes, you can start to really feel it. Squeeze, push those hips up higher to the sky. Take a breath in, relax those shoulders, relax your head down. Oh my goodness, guys, we're gonna get through it. Remember, we've got that isometric hold, so you can either rest or you're gonna have your feet nice and wide. Okay, so you're gonna point them out to a diagonal, push those hips up to the sky, and just hold here. That's it, squeeze. Oh my goodness, guys, come on, lift those hips up a little higher, and release it all the way down. Okay, we're gonna come over onto our side. I told you guys, we are gonna get through this workout. So, you're gonna have the top one bent, and this one's gonna lift up and down. That's it, Whew. We're starting to activate different muscles. We're gonna be working our calves a little bit too, getting a good sort of, hamstring stretch as well and then getting some action in those quads so keep going through because we want to combat the whole lower body and if you want to see other workouts we have got everything okay we've got we're going to hold it right here that's it that rest is either a rest guys or it's an isometric hold so we've got so many other workouts we've got ab workouts we've got arm workouts you know everything is all about nutrition guys i say this all the time 80 percent is nutrition 20 percent is fitness so let's swing it round to the other side so that top leg is bent and this other one is lifting up and down. That's it, really make sure that that elbow is underneath your shoulder. Lift up, point that toe, and up and down. Oh my goodness, guys, you're gonna feel so good. Let's get through this. So 80% is the nutrition. So if you're not feeding your body the right nutrition and the right ingredients, you're never gonna get those results. So, so important. That's it, lift it up. And you ready to hold it for that isometric hold? Just 15 seconds. That's it, squeeze, try and lift it up a little bit higher. Bring that's it, really engage those quads. Lift up in that chest, little great little oblique workout here as well. And let's hold up the three, two, one. Okay, grab those weights. You're gonna stand all the way back up to the top. And we're gonna come back into those deadlifts, okay? But this time we're gonna come down here for three seconds, up here, and then squeeze all the way up to the top. So we drop it down, three, two, one. Halfway up and then squeeze all the way up to the top again. That's it, take it down. Three, two, one, halfway up, and then squeeze. Now what I'm doing here, when I'm using the, when I'm doing this exercise, I'm using 30 pounds in each hand, okay? Typically, right now I've only got two pounds just to demonstrate. We're gonna hold it here for our isometric hold. So you wanna make sure that it's the last few reps are really challenging you. To be honest, two pounds in either hand is not gonna get you very far. You really wanna make sure that you're increasing your weight. Okay, next exercise. We're gonna do alternating lunges. So coming here and then out to the side. So get into the middle of your mat. You're gonna push your glutes out to the back and then lifting that chest up, holding those weights in your hand. So guys, if you have been using two pounds, okay, for the last 90 days, you definitely need to increase your weight. Do not worry, you are not gonna turn out like the Incredible Hulk. You're not gonna get like super muscly. It takes a lot of time. So let's hold it here for that isometric hold and we're gonna go into some calf exercises. So just hold it here, that's it. Squeeze everything nice and tight. So guys, have you increased your weight in the last 90 days? You need to do so. And we're gonna do calf exercises. We've got one more minute left. All you're gonna do is you're gonna raise up onto the top of your toes. Okay, you can have your weights down here at the side. A Little bit harder for your balance is to bring them up here or right out in front of you. Tuck those hips underneath 
and then really push up Ooh, into those toes. You've got this, guys. Come on. Less than 60 seconds to go. We've just got one more exercise after this. We're going to do a little isometric hold. I want everybody to join into this, and then I want everybody to do the last exercise with me. Okay, so isometric hold. 15 seconds. Come up onto your toes. Bend a little lower. That's it. Keep that chest up. Come really high up onto those tippy toes. Squeeze those out and step. Squeeze those legs. Hold it here. You've got this for three, two, one. Last exercise. We're going to go nice and wide. And all we're going to do is we're going to hands out to the side here. You're going to work on those calf muscles and those glutes. So it's a plie squat, bringing one heel up at a time. Try and get a little bit lower for me. Woo! Guys, we've been killing those inner thighs. You've done some glute workout. You've done some hamstring. Kill this workout today. Let's go for the last five seconds. Get a little bit lower for five, four, three, two, one. And you can release those weights down to the ground. Fantastic job. Ooh, how are your legs feeling? Can you feel the burn? Mine are definitely starting to jiggle. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure you check out our nutrition plans. We've got workouts for you and also Wake Up Wednesdays that come out on YouTube every single Wednesday. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And guys, I will see you on the next workout. Bye-bye.